Within the scatter plot, you can plot your client or prospect's current portfolio along an efficient frontier, as well as the recommended portfolio that may be better suited for them. Both of these portfolios have the same amount of expected return, but the recommended portfolio sports a full percentage point less of risk. This use is great for client acquisition. Furthermore, we can differentiate between the two portfolios by changing their shapes. I'll change the current portfolio to a cross and the recommended portfolio to a triangle to further highlight the differences between the two. The scatter plot can also be used to explore risk and return differences across groups of securities. Here I've brought in the major tech companies versus the major consumer discretionary companies in terms of standard deviation and total return over the last 10 years. During this 10-year period, we can see that Qualcomm bore more risk and experienced fewer returns than Microsoft did. This is great for honing in on securities that might be a good fit for your portfolio's makeup. Aside from individual securities, Scatterplot tool can also be used to explore risk and return for portfolios as well. Finally, within the Scatterplot, you can analyze individual security performance on a year-over-year -year basis. Here I've brought in the FANG stocks and their max drawdown and total return for each year over the last several years. This allows us to explore different trends, such as the fact that Netflix outperformed in 2010 before experiencing larger drawdowns and fewer returns in both 2011 and 2012, but then reverting to outperformance again in 2013. As you can see from these few examples, the scatterplot is an invaluable tool for discovering, analyzing, and communicating investment insights with your clients.